प्रेक्षकांक नमस्कार इष्टानो भलायकीच्या मॉडर्न युगातल्या कार्यावळीन तुमकां उर्बे भरीत येऊकार मॉडर्न होमिओपथीच्या खाशेल्या कार्यावळींनी तुम्ही ब्रेस्ट कॅन्सर किडनी फेलियर काळजाचे दुयेस ह्या गंभीर दुयेसा विषयी माहिती जाणून घेतली तसेच मॉडर्न होमिओपथीचे उपचार कसे योग्य असा हे तुम्ही पळले तसेच पीडितांचे अनुभव तुम्ही ऐकले मॉडर्न होमिओपथीचे सीईओ डॉक्टर विजय कुमार माने सरांनी क्युरेटिव्ह लाईन ऑफ ट्रीटमेंटा वरवी या दुयेतींच्या जीवितात नॉर्मलसी कशी हाडली ते पळून मॉडर्न होमिओपथीच्या उपचारांची तुम्ही तुमका खात्री पटल्या असतील भलायकीचे मॉडर्न युग या कार्यावळी वरवी खर दुयेसा संदर्भात तुमच्या गोय राज्यात जागृताय वाढत असा आमका मोठ्या प्रमाणात मिळिल्या तुमच्या प्रतिसादाक लागून हे सिद्ध जाता देखून भलायकीची काळजी घेऊपी ही कार्यावळ आम्ही फुडे सुरू दौरता आज तुमका मॉडर्न होमिओपथीचे डॉक्टर विजय कुमार माने कॅन्सर या भयानक आणि खर दुयेसा विषयी मार्गदर्शन करतले कॅन्सरा खातीर जगात मरण येऊप्यांची संख्या नेटान वाढत असा अशा वेळार या दुयेसा विषयी जागरूक असप खूप महत्वाचे कॅन्सर म्हणजे नक्की किती मनशाक कितल्या प्रकारचे कॅन्सर जावप शकता कॅन्सर कित्याक लागून जाता हे दुयेस कसे डिटेक्ट जावप शकता तसेच मात करपक नक्की किते करप गरजेचे कॅन्सर दुयेती विषयी कसली काळजी घेऊपची गरज असता मॉडर्न होमिओपथीच्या खासा उपचार पद्धतीन दुयेतींक कसलो फायदो जाता या सारखिल्या तसेच तुमच्या मनात येऊपी हेर प्रश्नांच्यो जापो तुमका या कार्यावळीन मेळटल्यो ही कार्यावळ म्हणजे समाजाची एका तरेन आरोग्यदायी सेवा म्हणल्यार चुकीचे थारचे ना डॉक्टर विजय कुमार माने सरांच्या महत्वपूर्ण संशोधना खातीर कॅन्सरा कडे कशे तरेन समर्थपणान तोंड देऊ शकता हे दुयेतींच्या प्रत्यक्ष अनुभवातल्या तुमका हंगा कळटले या दुयेसा बद्दल खूपशे गैरसमजे असतात पण ते पैस करपचो यत्न आम्ही हंगा करता तुमचं दर एक दुबाव पैस करपा खातीर ही कार्यावळ मॉडर्न होमिओपथीच्या यशस्वी उपचारांची माहिती दिता तर पळत रावात भलायकीचे मॉडर्न युग इष्टानो या कार्यावळी वरवी जावपी जागृताय तुम्ही समाजात हेरांकडे पावची असे आम्ही तुमका आवाहन करता एके भशेन हे आमचे सगळ्यांचे सामाजिक कर्तव्य त्यांना लक्ष दियात आणि ऐकयात मॉडर्न होमिओपथीची खासा कार्यावळ भलायकीचे मॉडर्न युग द पॉप्युलेशन ऑफ अर्थ इज सेव्हन अरेब्स a human body has 70000 arab cells every cell contains dna when the dna is disturbed the cell starts growing tremendously resulting in terrible disease of cancer the 200 types of cancers can manifest themselves at any point in life which may lead to untimely death every year 1.5 crore new people are diagnosed with cancer the patients break down physically as well as financially modern homeopathy is the best way of treatment that can successfully control cancer it can remove you from the clutches of cancer let us see how in the modern era of health modern homeopathy the safety of life hello i am anushree karanikar and modern era of health welcomes you all in this special show for the last few episodes we have been discussing about cancer different types of cancers and how modern homeopathy's curative line of treatment proved effective on them how the patients are leading a normal life we are talking about this all and to guide us through this today we have with us ceo of modern homeopathy dr vijay kumar mane sir sir welcome to the show hello so like i said we were discussing about cancer for the past few episodes and we have started this series specifically for the reason of spreading awareness amongst people mm. There are so many misunderstandings related to cancer. Also people do not take this seriously in the initial stages which helps cancer aggravate and then it all becomes pretty hard. So we have been discussing about this from the beginning and also the ways in which we could avoid this. We discussed about the uterine cancer, the cervical cancer and the ovarian cancer. Today we are going to discuss about lung cancer. Lung cancer will be today's topic. So what will you tell us about this particular type of cancer? First of all let me clear one thing creating awareness in people is definitely one of our motives but our most important motive is to tell there are alternatives for treatments available in cancer mm, right. and we are putting forth this able alternative of modern homeopathy through this program True. basically people opt for conventional line of treatment yes the disease aggravates it reappears again and again True. like we had spoken earlier the conventional line of treatment suppresses the disease true suppress and in our line of treatment disease is treated from the roots true. first you suppress disease this suppressed disease will spread in 10 different places absolutely that's what we see isn't it we see thousands of patients around the world 
death rate is extremely high in cancer yes. i want to tell people around world that we have a proper cure treatment yes for cancer available with us yes people should understand this and more and more lives should be saved that is the biggest and the most important motive of ours true like you said we have a working alternative available yes. because what happens is that patients emotionally break down when they understand that they are suffering from uh, some suffering type from of cancer. cancer because like we said their main fear is that of morbidity the death rate being too high that's also the reason for the nervous breakdown but with the way we are providing a curative line of treatment we are also helping them relax emotionally in a way that they can actually take this treatment in a way that helps them i would like to add something to this go ahead go ahead that after the conventional treatments end mm -hmm, like mm. all the cases we saw yes, yes. even at that stage we have treatments available mm. even at that stage we can prolong a person's life we can give him a quality life exactly. we have definitely proved it so far and we definitely believe that the world should know about this true. this is what we believe because that is going to help us save more lives true now that all the conventional treatments are over there is nothing left for me is the thought that patient should never true, have true. and that's because we have able alternative of modern homeopathy available definitely today we are going to be talking about lung cancer nowadays it's becoming very common what will you say about that and what are the reasons for that as we know lung cancer can be divided into categories basically small cell and non small scale cancers are the two types okay okay in conventional line of treatment the treatments available for this type are very less rather the life expectancy for this is 6 months to a year max oh, okay. i have seen a lot of patients and i also treat them okay we can give the patient maximum life or we can even cure him okay in our line of okay. treatment okay lung cancer is mostly related to true, breathing true so smoking is the main reason for that we see lung cancer manifesting in lot of smokers absolutely or people who come in contact with chemical substances for example people who build roads the fumes oh. of the tar that they breathe or phoenix or some other chemicals, chemicals. or asbestos oh. or silicosis disease that common in people working on construction oh, sites yes, yes. or say workers working in mm. coal mines true the coal powder cases uh, these mm. people are common patients of lung cancer okay okay what we discussed now were the reasons for it but if we now look at symptoms then what we mainly notice is cough okay the cough that stays beyond a month or two if the disease has already spread then one might spit blood with okay. saliva the third sign is exhaustion or breathlessness Mm -hmm. normal walking or at times when the illness has aggravated mm. if one has water in his chest the breathlessness aggravates okay these are the main symptoms at times even fever one that's diagnosed as po pyrosia of unknown origin as it terms where the origin of fever We is don't unknown know the reason. these are the types of symptoms and the other general symptoms patient suffers weight loss and weight loss of loss, appetite yes, yes. considering these symptoms mm, one should have a thought where the patient is suffering from this kind of disease the doctor should always think this way and then do further tests tests if we talk about the tests then mm. the main test is ct scan okay ct scan determines if the patient has a cancerous tumor in his lungs mm -hmm. next step should be biopsy okay a biopsy to determine the type of cancer hmm. and after biopsy there is a test called as isc can be done in conventional line of treatment okay we have so far covered the topics of symptoms reasons and tests conventional line of treatment and modern homeopathy how they are different and how differently you treat the patients is something we would like to know more about but before that let's take a break give a missed call on the numbers displayed below for advice and guidance 7038833881 and 7038833382 For counseling and guidance regarding modern homeopathy contact our centers at Dadar Karwa Dhankavdi Pimpri Chinswad Mapsa Madgaon Nashik Aurangabad Kolhapur Nanded Nagpur and Solapur Contact numbers 9730339009 and 9372728009 toll free number 1800121809 website modernhomeopathy.co.in
ईमेल आईडी इन्फो एट मॉडर्न होम्योपैथी डॉट को डॉट इन एंड किडनी क्यूर क्लिनिक एट जी मेल डॉट कॉम स्त्री असते भविष्य काळ कुटुंबाचा समाजाचा देशाचा तिचं आरोग्य म्हणूनच महत्वाचं परंतु दुर्दैवानं ब्रेस्ट कॅन्सर हा गंभीर आजार आपल्या देशातील महिलांना वेगाने गाठत आहे त्यांचं करिअर जीवन उद्ध्वस्त करीत आहे आपल्या सर्वांना हे थांबवायचं आहे आणि आपण हे थांबवू शकतो मॉडर्न होमिओपॅथीच्या सहाय्यानं मॉडर्न होमिओपॅथी द क्युरेटिव्ह लाईन ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट Welcome you all to the special program of Modern Era of Health post this small break. Today we have been talking about lung cancer. Mr. Agwekar, a patient of lung cancer, will now share his experience with us. Hello. My, my name is Sanjay Panduranga Agwekar, age 46. I work in post office as a treasurer and I stay at Nagari Nivara Parishad Goregao. I was diagnosed with cancer in February 2014. After that I turned to allopathic line of treatment and then the doctor suggested me to go for chemotherapy. I underwent 3 chemotherapies. After the third chemotherapy the hemoglobin count and platelet count in my blood drastically dropped. The entire lung was the entire lung was affected as a side effect so the doctor was not keen and refused the fourth chemo session then i went for uh, a second opinion but i could not get uh, an appointment for chemotherapy i had seen dr mane's interview on tv then i finally met uh, dr vijay kumar mane of modern homeopathy at dadar when i met him uh, he told me that my disease has spread my liver was affected too but he told me that if i continue with allopathic treatment and chemotherapy there will be side effects but he claimed that his treatment and result were both good and he said he will help me get better and so as per the advice of dr mane i started taking the modern homeopathy treatment and just after 2 days of this homeopathic treatment I started having food because I could hardly have anything after the chemotherapy. I mean it was painful, I couldn't swallow, I had something similar to an ulcer in my mouth, so I never felt like eating. But I started eating just 2 days into my treatment of modern homeopathy. I started the treatment in 2014 and it's still going on. And I have recovered a lot till date. before uh, i was diagnosed with cancer uh, my problem was i would spit out blood and i always felt breathless i mean if i ran to catch my bus then it left me breathless i could not do any heavy activity back then and uh, after after i started with dr vijay kumar mane's treatment i experienced a lot of uh, positive results and i am living a very normal life now my job and routine is all set and i can even travel out of town now and i really want to say that this modern homeopathy treatment was absolutely miraculous for me i had lost all my hope and this medicine helped me so much now i am a much healthier person and dr mane has told me that i may not even need any medicines in a few more months that is how much i have recovered The treatment of modern homeopathy is extremely helpful and it has no side effects so um, so if the people suffering from cancer turn to this medicine instead of allopathy then they will really see the difference We just heard the experience of Mr Agwekar so what exactly was this case how modern homeopathy successfully treated him let us discuss with Dr Mane further but before that let's take a short break give a missed call on the numbers displayed below for advice and guidance 7038833881 and 7038833882 
for counseling and guidance regarding modern homeopathy contact our centers at dadar karwa dhankavdi pimpri chinswad mapsa madgaon nashik aurangabad kolhapur nanded nagpur and solapur contact numbers 9730339009 and 9372728009 toll free number 1800121809 website modernhomeopathy.co.in email id info@modernhomeopathy.co.in and kidney cure clinic at gmail.com जन्म आणि मृत्यू या दोन बिंदूंमधील अंतर म्हणजे जीवन होय एका बिंदूकडून दुसऱ्या बिंदूकडे मार्गक्रमण करत असताना मनुष्य आपलं ध्येयनिष्ठ जीवन जगत असतो जीवनाच्या या प्रवासात आजार रूपी अडथळे निर्माण होतच असतात हेच अडथळे दूर करून जीवनगती निर्धोक राखण्यासाठी आधार देत मॉडर्न होमिओपॅथी चला तर मग जाणून घेऊया मॉडर्न होमिओपॅथी वेलकम यू ऑल टू द स्पेशल प्रोग्राम ऑफ मॉडर्न एरा ऑफ हेल्थ पोज द स्मॉल ब्रेक So before going on a break we saw the bite of Mr Agwekar we saw his reports heard the experience he told us how he was diagnosed with lung cancer and how you treated him what will you tell us about this case when mr agwekar came to us he had already taken treatment from a very renowned and famous cancer hospital in mumbai okay okay and after treatment he realized that his cancer was resurfacing and oh. it has spread in lungs and liver as well oh okay because his alpha pitoprotein test was very high the cancer had reached his liver okay after he started our line of medicine he could see the change since then and his symptoms reduced since first okay. month and his breathlessness reduced mm-hmm. he started gaining his weight mm-hmm. his cough was reduced this is how the symptoms like he often had a fever that to reduced he felt relief right from the first month and we kept on doing his tests and the test showed that his illness was taking a back seat mm-hmm. according to latest reports his disease has reduced to a great extent we see this in reports as well as in patients physical True. condition ct scan report also show the same and all the cancer marker tests we did the blood tests they too showed a great difference mm-hmm. and he is leading a normal life and after taking our treatment the modern homeopathy treatment the patient joined back his job in next month oh nice he is a government employee He was back on job in second month and today he leads a normal life. True. I mean if you look at him yes. you won't believe that he is a cancer patient. Definitely, definitely. And we can see that how much he has recovered. Definitely. So like we said that we always tell the difference between our line of treatment and conventional line of treatment. Mm. So I wanted to ask you that when such patients come over to you do you along with the medicines give them some extra like special diets or so this is lung uh, so it's basically related to breathing so you know in that sense I asked you main thing is if you are addicted to something else you should avoid it completely exactly this is very important so if someone is smoking or chewing tobacco that should immediately stop true secondly we ask the patient to avoid non vegetarian food okay. especially mutton and chicken We also tell patients to avoid cold stuff. Okay, okay. Most of the times if these patients are exposed to cool things like AC or eat mm-hmm. or drink uh, something cold, it is seen that their illness gets aggravate. Oh, okay. These are some very basic rules to follow. It's nothing extraordinary or different. Okay. And there is no specific diet to follow either. Whatever his everyday routine is, his dietary routine and and his daily routine life, he can live better. When we started speaking about lung cancer you had said that smoking or tobacco chewing or such habits are responsible for increase in this disease. Mm. Are there any other reasons for this disease to manifest because nowadays this type of cancer is seen even in the younger generation. What will you tell us about that? There are some type of cancers of lungs like germ cell tumor cancer. Mm-hmm. It is said to be by birth or genetic. Okay okay. We know it like this. Very often it is seen in people around us. other exposure like pollution hmm. or uh, what we say professional hazards yes yes uh, for example say a person who builds roads hmm. that does that he inhales hmm. or some type of pollutants 
or chemical, chemical factory worker so people should stay away from such things things that are responsible for the diseases to aggravate should always be avoided like we said earlier lung cancer is a very broad subject the modern homeopathy's line of treatment is working really well like we just saw in this bite the patient himself said that he is living a normal life and that's the biggest achievement and like i said cancer itself is a very broad subject and it's really a chronic disease and how you're working on the situation and how you will continue to do so is an interesting subject we'll handle in our next episodes you graced our studio today and guided us so well and for that thank you thank you thank you very much like i said cancer is a broad subject and it is a chronic disease and how modern homeopathy treats it rather effectively treats it this will be our subject of discussion for later episodes let's end today's episode on this note Thank you. Give a missed call on the numbers displayed below for advice and guidance. 7038833881 and 7038833882 for counseling and guidance regarding modern homeopathy. Contact our centers at Dadar, Karwa, Dhankavdi, Pimpri Chinswad, Mapsa, Madgaon, Nashik, Aurangabad, Kolhapur, Nanded, Nagpur and Solapur. Contact numbers 9730-339-009 and 9372-728-009. Toll free number 1-800-121-8009. Website modernhomeopathy.co.in. Email ID info at modernhomeopathy.co.in and kidney cure clinic at gmail.com मी स्त्री आहे आणि स्त्री असते भविष्य काळ कुटुंबाचा समाजाचा देशाचा तिचं आरोग्य म्हणूनच महत्वाचं परंतु दुर्दैवानं ब्रेस्ट कॅन्सर हा गंभीर आजार आपल्या देशातील महिलांना वेगाने गाठत आहे त्यांचं करिअर जीवन उद्ध्वस्त करीत आहे आपल्या सर्वांना हे थांबवायचं आहे आणि आपण हे थांबवू शकतो मॉडर्न होमिओपॅथीच्या सहाय्यानं मॉडर्न होमिओपॅथी द क्युरेटिव्ह लाईन ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट The population of earth is 7 arabs a human body has 70000 arab cells every cell contains dna when the dna is disturbed the cell starts growing tremendously resulting in terrible disease of cancer the 200 types of cancers can manifest themselves at any point in life which may lead to untimely death every year 1.5 crore new people are diagnosed with cancer the patients break down physically as well as financially modern homeopathy is the best way of treatment that can successfully control cancer it can remove you from the clutches of cancer let us see how in the modern era of health modern homeopathy the safety of life मॉडर्न होमिओपैथी के सीईओ डॉक्टर विजय कुमार माने हाणी कैंसर दुयेसा के मार्गदर्शन पे इश्रानो भलायकी मॉडर्न युग हा कार्यान फुड़ भागान तुमका डॉक्टर विजय कुमार माने कैंसर दुयेसर आनीक मार्गदर्शन करते खर दुयेस आचेवे मॉडर्न होमिओपैथी उपचार हाचे खीर पेत रहा भलायकी मॉडर्न युग